everyone. This is Emily from EC Emily I Feel and For Some. I hope everyone is well. I hope everybody's doing okay. I have a request to make sorrel drink. It's the Christmas season and one of our customs uh, for the season is to have sorrel drink on our table. It's been very common now. People are drinking sorrel drinks all throughout the year, but at Christmas time, it's a must. We have to have it. We do have it. This is a request from my friend Robbie, who has asked me to make sour drink. She loves my sour drink, so here I am. Robbie, this one is for you. I'm making the sour drink. I have six cups of sour here, and I wash this sour. And I have it in the pot because I'm just going to put it in the pot. I have a pot on the stove with 24 cups of water that is boiling so this sorrel is going to go into that pot i have here some cinnamon sticks and i had to buy cinnamon stick in the supermarket usually i bring it up from grenada but there's no traveling this year so you know i had to buy and this is bay leaf that I bought dry that I've had I'm not sure it's so different from the bay leaf I know and this is what I have clove okay this is clove sorrel is a drink that it's made according to taste and preference some people like it strong some people like it weak some people like it spicy I love mine with spice I love mine with spice, all the spices that I can have. And I saw this bay leaf that I, in the store, but I am not, I break it and I smell it. It doesn't smell like the bay leaf I know. Although it looks like this one here, but it doesn't look. So I'm not even going to use that. But I just wanted to show you. It has no smell. The real bay leaf that we have from back home, we don't find it here. And I have some ginger. And I show you the ginger like this because I want you to see how I clean the ginger. Ginger comes from the ground, so we have to be careful. Even though we don't want to like peel it because we're taking most of the ginger off, we should scrape it and make sure there is no dirt uh, when we're putting it in the pot. So I just wanted you to see I'm putting some ginger and how I clean the ginger okay but what I really want to show you with this is I have to say and I'm not beating up on anyone I drank sorrel from people before and when I got to the last of the sorrel I'm telling you I wish I didn't drink it because I see so much brownness at the bottom I don't want to say what I think it is but it wasn't appealing and I want to emphasize I washed the sorrel under cold water when you rinse or when when you wash you're not washing with soap you're rinsing it you take it you when you wash it you lift it from the the basin you lift it you don't sift the water out and hold back because you might hold back some dirt sorrel is a a flower on a tree or fruit on a tree it looks like a flower with the red and the petals and everything but I don't know why the sorrel that we buy in the pack is so sandy and I wanted you to see what I mean when I said if you can look you see you see that this is sorrel I washed the sorrel and this is what at, it's at the bottom of uh, I saved it for you to see and also I want you to see here also look if you look let me see if I could throw it some water here. look at that you see that that's sand I don't know why it's like that but you don't want to serve anybody sorrel and the sorrel is uh, has that at the bottom when they finish drink it they stir and they drink and they see that at the bottom and they say, oh my God, I wish I didn't drink the sorrel. So make sure you rinse your sorrel good. Lift it from the water. 
and let all the other unwanted particles like i showed you stay and put uh, down the sink so now i'm going to be putting these in the pot i'm going to let it i'm going to let it boil for five minutes and i'm going to let it sit there until it's cool maybe for about 12 hours sometimes i put it in the night and take care of it in the morning or i put it in in the morning and i take care of it in the night but there is no rush when you're making sour this is just the first part the next part is going to be when i sweeten it and i put my essence and ray and nephew always have to stop by when i'm doing my sorrel i strain the sorrel this is uh i strain i added a little water here i probably going to boil it a little bit more this is something that we do we never use the sorrel just once and you know it's always better to have a little bit of wash down sorrel than that. so here i am with the sorrel it's strained i'm using white sugar i had some white sugar sitting in the cupboard for a long time that i haven't used because i stopped using white sugar so i'm going to start with using uh, white sugar so here i i put two cups of sugar in here already i'm going to add another two cups sorrel is a drink to taste some people like it strong some people like it not so strong uh, some people like it sweet some people like it not so sweet I make my sorrel in a way that when you put the sorrel in ice or you put ice in the sorrel and you drink it smoothly I mean you don't rush it it has a very nice taste and I cannot explain it's very refreshing and that is the reason people always ask me to make sorrel for them 24 cups of water you know I cannot drink all this sorrel so I am definitely giving away sorrel in total I have four cups of sugar here so I can tell you it's not sweet enough I know because sorrel is very acid and it takes much sweetening so this is four cups of white sugar I have in here and I'm going to start adding the fragrance my first one I'm gonna start with Angostura bitters okay it can't hurt never next one I'm gonna put and I'm not measuring I'm averaging no yeah essence no yeah next almond I'm running low on everything no traveling makes you run low look at so almond I would say that's about two teaspoon. It's 24 cups of water. And here I have my vanilla essence. Essence vanilla from Haiti. Yeah. So, okay. That's about three teaspoon. And Let's sweeten. I'm going to have to put the camera down. I added four more cups of water. If you can see, the volume has increased. I added four more cups of water. I added two more cups of sugar. So I added, in total, I added, in total, I have six cups of white sugar and i added four cups of water because you have to taste the acidity and you don't want it too acid and i did put six cups of 
I did put six cups of sorrel, dry sorrel, to boil in 24 cups of water. So I added four more cups of water and, I, and in total six cups of white sugar. I also added two cups of brown sugar. I did add some more um, essence. Remember, sorrel is a drink to taste. I don't have recipes, I say that all the time. So you can add according to taste and flavor and you would know when you have enough. I showed you what essence I use. I'm going to put it in the description box and that's how we are going to make our sorrel. Take our time, we sweeten it, we add more water, we add more, frag more essence or fragrance, whichever word you want to use and I want to show you something. I made mention of Ray and Nephew. Yes. However, we have to be respectful. There are many people who do not drink alcohol. There are many people who cannot consume alcohol. So we have to be very respectful. We have to let people know our drinks have alcohol and if they want to have it still, they can have it. If they ask us how much, we have to tell them, it's good, it's a decent amount. And if you say that, they will understand. They say, no, I can't drink, you respect that. So what I'm gonna do right now, I'm going to, to strain my sorrel. I am not putting any alcohol in the sorrel until I'm ready to serve it. The, it goes in the refrigerator. My son loves sorrel. So I am not going to put any alcohol. When I'm ready to give it away to whom I want to give it, then I will add Mr. Ray and nephew. Other than that, that's how I do my sorrow. So I'll show you. I'm gonna continue sweetening and I'm gonna give my last taste and I'm going to put it in the, and look at the sorrel. It's a nice, look at that color. I have to tell you, when I drink sorrel, I can only drink a little because it makes me feel a little dizzy. I do not drink a lot. However, I like to see when people drink it. I'm going to taste it. delicious no more sugar it needs no more water no more fragrance perfect so now I'm gonna show you look at the color so I'm going to strain it and this is my cup I'm going to dip and Here. This brings us to the end of our preparation of our sour drink. Please remember if you're drinking alcohol, do not drive. Always designate a driver for you. I want everyone to have a safe holiday no drinking and driving if you know you're making your sorrel drink with lots of alcohol please let your guest know that you have alcohol in your sorrel be respectful I thank you all for tuning in to EC Emily I feeling for some I hope you like this video if you like this video Give it a thumbs up, like, subscribe, share. I love you all so much and thank you for watching. 
I feel in for some.